logins and they have a strange design if you look from the side this is everything until here is a cover all this is a cover and here we have the wood and that's the way they look this is the design and the reason we have this cover over here because the mid-range is about five and a quarter is right here the low frequencies of the mid-range are going to the front of the room the high frequencies of the mid-range are going to the back but here we have something that sealing the sound so the sound is not passing the back so it's going to the right and to the left so you get from this 5 inch unit you get a pretty good sound and both speakers kind of connect together and right to left the sound is become pretty big for 5 inch unit but it's not a perfect mid-range because if to be honest I'm not crazy for this kind of design because when you open the back of the driver the high frequencies and the low frequencies mix together sometimes and for example piano notes I don't have the, the gravity of the piano the piano doesn't feel like piano not a big deal you know not a big deal but overall sounds pretty good if I take this mid-range sound and I put piano this one this Martin Logan versus this Dali speaker the Dali speaker gonna do piano better but okay that's that's okay you know one thing is not perfect in a speaker and it's not a big deal the, this Twitter sounds fantastic and the bass six and a half very impressive bass and this Twitter man he can do such a beautiful things with the music unbelievable beautiful things and this speaker I think I saw in one place that is used to cost 1500 bucks another place I saw 1200 so let's say this speaker wasn't is not cheap wasn't cheap and that's where you plug the speaker cables big port and let's see let's see what it says over here because I listened for the speaker so maybe a week and a half okay impedance 4 ohms amplifier 20 watts to 300 watts this is says over here 20 watts to 300 watts don't worry for this thing I plug these speakers for 80 watts amplifiers and is pushing the speakers very easy don't worry for this 300 watts okay frequency response 40 hertz to 25k and I'm not surprised you know what when I say 20 to 40 I believe these speakers get to 40 and 25k I believe that too because the bass the highs and the lows of these speakers are fantastic fantastic and that's the way they look with the covers this is made from uh, what is name magnet magnetic yeah strange looking I'm not crazy for design of this thing this is also magnetic yeah that's the way it's the way one second you stay here and look on these magnetics there are little magnetics I don't crazy for this design that much and the speakers no you know without the covers they looks I think pretty good very cool cool looking very cool yeah look very cool look of this thing awesome not very solid not very solid yeah. so so that's okay what do I care I care if he's making bass or not what do I care if he's solid very strong and not making any bass like few other speakers that I saw before in my life very solid but not making any bass yeah this thing I, I make a video for this part you're gonna see I open this part this mid-range is look kind of interesting 
So you want to see the mid range. Ah, the, the woofer, I take it to outside to check out the look inside. Ah, the, there's nothing special. That that was more impressive. The mid range was more impressive. Well, anyway, if you look, if you look on these two mid range here, yeah, we we see the same thing. But you see, when I bought the speakers, the guy said to me that this mid range right here. It got repaired because here was something cracked. Something was cracked. And this black, shiny, beautiful ring. And I'm looking for this crack because usually you can see something, but I cannot see nothing. Well, you know, I tested. I tested with my equalizer and I pushed this driver to make sure it works. Fantastic, the same like this one. Both sound exactly the same. The sound is excellent. So I think this guy, I think was something very, very minor, very small, somewhere over here. I don't know exactly where. And this guy called to someone professional. You see, it looks very professional. And somebody, somebody fix it. Yeah, somebody fix it. Well, it doesn't matter, I'll just show you why this one look more black and shiny and this one looks more normal you know that's why i show you yeah and this is pretty much what i have to say about the speakers i think i describe it but overall the most important i enjoy the sound very much from these guys yeah if you see the speakers i very recommend very highly recommend the sound because the mid-range is pushing for the sides and to the front so the sound is kind of big and with the tweeter it sounds wonderful i think the speakers are excellent if to be honest i think they are very good speakers i like them a lot nice imaging nice sound stage well you know what i changed my mind i thought before that they're very ugly now i changed my mind i think they're a little bit nice because the grill covers make it look cheap. I don't know. They make it look cheap. Now they look some special. Now they look pretty special. Well, I'm going to make a sound demo with these guys. Overall, you know, I already make my point. And this, I plug my Yamaha receiver. You see, I have the Yamaha receiver right here. And I didn't use too many amplifiers because it was so easy to push... First of all, it was very easy to push the speakers. Second of all, it was very easy to get a good sound. So I didn't thought that I need to try a little bit more. Because for what? For what? It sounds fantastic already. And yeah, I use this Denon. And I use this Yamaha. You see, I plug this Yamaha. Cute receiver. And this Denon. I use this Denon for many years. What is the model of this thing? 2308CI and the reason I replace it with this Yamaha because this Yamaha have a pre-out and I have few active speakers so it's gonna make a little bit more give me gonna give me more options gonna give me more options and that's pretty much it thank you so much